Okay, we mentioned it a few minutes ago to give you the warning. It is National Pickle Day. One of my favorite days. There's just so many wonderful foods to celebrate, and we love a good pickle. Also, tomorrow marks one week out from Thanksgiving, which means we are totally in holiday mode. You might be starting to think, what kind of presents can I get for people? Or what can I bring to Thanksgiving dinner? So while we talk about all those things and celebrate, we're also gonna talk about how you can help Portland's only nonprofit cooking school. This is Chef Jacob Valentine, founder of Feed the Mass. Thanks for coming on. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you in advance for everyone at home who is sitting there thinking, I need some, I don't have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I gotta make something quick to bring to someone and do something nice. We're gonna make pickles and the beginning stages of cookies, right? Of course. So the cool part is uh, this pickle recipe is actually one of the easiest ones to go with, and all you need is a microwave. So in here we have uh, vinegar, salt, and sugar, and then we have sliced pickle or uh, sliced cucumbers it and will dill, be pickles. exactly, mm -hmm. and garlic. So all we do is throw this in the microwave for about a minute and a half till it gets nice and steamy. Throw it into our jar till it wow. covers. All right, put a lid on it. Let it sit at room temperature for about an hour. Just room temperature? Room for temperature an for hour. an hour. And then throw it in your fridge and let it stay in the fridge for at least an hour or two until it gets cold. This is a perfect gift you can give to for Thanksgiving as a little appetizer before everybody gets going. Yeah. You can add a little spiciness to this, any flavoring you want. I like that. Exactly. That's so easy. Only so if like I want if I'm gonna have dinner at, at ten o'clock tonight, I could could eat those pickles. You could eat these pickles. Wow. Cool, great Easy dinner. Enough, right? Wonderful, right. nutritious dinner. Perfect. Okay, so before we get to making the beginnings of some cookies, mm -hmm. you guys are trying to raise a lot of money right now, doing a big fundraiser. Yeah, so we are in the process of getting people to sponsor our classes. Um, they are they go from anywhere from two hundred dollars to five thousand dollars for an entire month of classes. Uh, we're trying to raise fifty thousand dollars to get people interested in cooking again and get people educated. No matter what, we don't cancel classes. We just have a good time all the time. And as you mentioned at the beginning, it is Portland's only nonprofit cooking school. Exactly. I've, I mean, I've, I've double checked this, but we're the only ones that are actually doing what we're doing. On top of that, it's not about monetizing anything. It's all about giving to the community and being good for the community. So people that might normally think, oh, I don't have enough money to spend on a cooking class, th this is what's We take care of it. And that's why sponsoring classes are super important, because if you sponsor a class, we guarantee that there's going to be 12 people who if they can't afford it, we give them a scholarship. If they want to come to it and they're like, I only have half, we'll take care of it. So that's what's really important. Now you guys teach all kinds of different styles of food, Everything. meals, dinner, desserts, appetizers, whatever, but right now you're gonna teach me one that I'm capable of, a very simple one that could exactly. also be a gift for somebody. Exactly, so these are mason jar cookie jars. So these will last about six months in anybody's like cupboard and it's really simple. So in here we have flour, salt, and baking soda. And oh. what we do is we take a little piece of paper, make a little funnel and you just throw it right <laughs> into the funnel. I like this, you were telling me that it's very easy for kids to do, but exactly. also adults, adults if you aren't very if you're skilled not a, at things. Exactly, so we just shake it mm -hmm. and then we do our next one which is the brown sugar. Oh yeah. You always wanna do the brown sugar first because then it just looks like it just looks <laughs> I missed some. exactly it just more looks sugar, like more friend. sugar so we just pat it down uh -huh. make sure we got the layers next you don't want to get to the top and then not have any room for exactly What's so this, one? this is sugar regular we're sugar? just gonna add regular sugar in there okay these recipes are going to be on our website feedthemouse.com the best part and chocolate That's a lot chips. of chocolate chips well, like, we've like got a lot of space in there I, I which like, is great i like chocolate chips and so this is good for any like gift. All you do, like what we did, take a little twine, put out a little gift card. That's so cute. Easy enough. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this whole fundraiser is, which clearly you guys deserve all of the dollars because exactly. again, it's nonprofit. Everyone can come take a class and you know how to make an excellent chocolate chip cookie. Exactly. And then you just add butter uh, and an so egg. Half a stick of butter, one egg, and we're set. Boom, you make cookies. And go to feedthemass.com slash ambassador to make a donation through December 20th. Yep. Thanks so much, Chef Thank Jacob Valentine. Appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs>